Welcome back. The news in full. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi continues his visit to Brussels to take part in the sixth round of the EU-Africa summit, which will be held on Thursday at the EU headquarters. The two-day summit will be held under the title Africa and Europe, Two Continents with Joint Vision to 2030. The first round of the summit was held in Cairo in 2000 and witnessed founding mechanisms for participation in accordance with the Cairo plan. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Radi said President Sisi will discuss Africa's economic integration into the global economy and the need for providing support to the continent to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. The president is scheduled to probe a joint vision to support the African continent during the coronavirus pandemic and facilitating the fair distribution and accessibility of all technologies related to the pandemic and vaccine production. The head of state's visit will also include talks with King Philip Leopold and Prime Minister, which will tackle bilateral ties and regional and international issues of mutual concern. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi received Peter Jean de Nul, executive president for the Belgium dredging company, Jean de Nul, in his uh, official residence in Brussels in the presence of General Ahmed Khalid, head of the strategic leadership and a number of the company's officials. Presidential spokesperson said that the meeting tackled means of cooperation between Egypt and the Belgian company regarding the projects of developing and preserving Egyptian coasts, especially the Mediterranean. President Sisi hailed the cooperation with Belgian companies in the fields of developmental projects and infrastructure. Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli held a press conference following the weekly held at the cabinet headquarters in the new administrative capital on Wednesday. Medbouli tackled a number of economic social files as well as the recent updates of combating coronavirus and the availability of vaccines. He reviewed the current economic challenges facing the country due to the pandemic outbreak and said that Egypt's economic growth rate will exceed 6% during current fiscal year. Matbouli also reiterated that the world economy faced 5.5% inflation due to coronavirus repercussions. He asserted that Egypt succeeded to preserve its production of basic commodities despite these economic challenges. The Premier pointed out that the fuel prices raised in Egypt by 9% only in comparison of 54% worldwide. The cabinet followed up the execution of several various national projects including the projects of the presidential initiative Decent Life. Foreign Minister Samir Shukri, his uh, visit to uh, Brussels, uh, discussed the European Commissioner for Neighborhood and Enlargement, Olivier Varelli, ways of deepening partnership between Egypt and the European Union in various fields. The two sides also discussed cooperation in the field of combating climate change and supporting the green transformation in Egypt. The meeting came with the framework of Egypt's participation under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi in the African-Egyptian summit in Brussels. The summit's first session was held in Cairo in 2000 and witnessed the establishment of partnership mechanisms through Cairo Work Plan. In its daily coronavirus report, Ministry of Health has registered yesterday 2,117 new cases and 56 fatalities from the pandemic. The statement added that 1,546 patients have been discharged from hospitals after recovering from the virus, bringing the total number of recoveries to 39 and 489 cases. <laughs> 